Congratulations on the rising star, Nod. How's the reaction been? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the reaction's, you know, pretty surprised, really humbled to um, be awarded that, uh, nominated. So, you know, really happy with the um, with the nomination and it was just yesterday that Sabrina Duffy told me that she'd won it in round two. So, we're really starting a trend with the round two, so be really happy about that. Such a nice start to the season. Now you've got Collingwood top of the table clash. Can you keep this going? Yeah, so we're just kind of taking it training by training, game by game at the moment. So we're really working hard on our weaknesses, our strengths, and everyone's working together really well as a team. We'll see what we can do on the weekend. Are there many weaknesses? Um, look, as far as I know, not so much. We're all just working together and working as a team and taking it training by training. And how exciting is it for you sort of coming out start of your season, you're playing your first AFLW season, you didn't just win Rising Star but you, you've impressed the crowds. Yeah, look, it's really humbling to actually be out there in, in front of the big um, the big crowd, so really excited to be out there and have all my supporters behind me, so my family and all the fans. How long did you want this? Oh, I've wanted it for such a long time, it's been a lifelong dream of mine, so I remember mum looking at me one day and going, look, if there's no women's league, we'll get you into the men's league, and if not, then we'll get you to the highest level. So, um, you know, it's been a lifelong dream of mine, pretty much. You came through the Women's Academy program as well, and there's a lot of young stars that could be in your position, say, next year or the year after. What do you say to them? Um, I just say keep going. Like, if you work hard and you put your mind to it, you're going to get there. So, um, really, you know, put your head down, work hard, and keep going. How much did that academy sort of affect your career? Yeah, look, it really opened my eyes to the amount of um, professionalism that you need to have and, um, you know, how to pretty much conduct yourself, work hard. They went through a lot of um, different education blocks with us, so it was really exciting to be exposed to that elite level. You've also been nominated for the Mark of the Year Award, haven't you? How does that feel? Yeah, look, it feels great. Really excited about that also, seeing as it's um, marking is one of my strong points, so really happy about that. And you've won some money for your local club back in Dongra? Uh, yes, yeah, so obviously, you know, stoked with that, really happy. They've given me so much and it's great to be able to give back to them. Has it uh, been life-changing the start of the season? Um, life-changing? I, I guess so, like it's um, a lifelong dream, as I said. So really excited to be able to use the facilities, be with the girls, you know, being exposed to a whole different level of sports. So really happy about it. So what is it? been a, a level of celebrity now, anything unusual happened? Uh, no, not not really, not yet. So I've heard a couple of stories from the girls about, you know, um, different things, but really happy with how everything started off and happy to be around the girls and the coaching staff and the facilities. You talk a lot about the facilities. What does it mean as a young athlete to have these opportunities? Yeah, look, it's it's amazing to be able to, you know, be able to use these uh, facilities alongside the boys and all the other girls. So um, it's really brought a different standard of professionalism. Where do you see your future going? Yeah, um, hopefully, you know, a couple years down the track I'll still be playing, but really just working on myself and working on um, working with the team. Yeah, Collingwood, uh, what have you made of their start of the season? Yeah, look, um, just taking it game by game, obviously. We've watched the reviews, we've, you know, done, um, done training as best as we can, so we'll be looking forward to the game. And uh, you guys have been, obviously, a couple of wins. You haven't had to travel yet. Um, is, it, is it the most... Does that uh, keep you in good stead for the next few games? Yeah, look, I'm honestly kind of nervous to travel. I'm not a very good flyer, so um, hopefully I won't be sitting out next to anyone. I do um, have a tendency to um, get sick, so um, we'll see how that goes and we'll all be happy to, I guess, just go over. And it's a great opportunity to be able to go over to these different places and burst different teams.